What's up party people, Android Stud here. Today I have the Essential phone and it is running Android P Beta 1 from Essential. This was running Android P Developer Preview before. So it got an update, a um, couple different things that have improved on it that I like. There's a couple things that um, I noticed about this Beta 1 that I don't like, but I'll get into that. First three questions I wanna answer for you guys because I know you have them. Is this a daily driver? Is the camera better? And how do I install this? I'll start with the last one. How do you install this? Well, you basically going to have to look down in the link in the description below to install this. Essential has instructions that you can install this. You're going to have to unlock your bootloader. You have to know ADB and fast boot commands. Uh, you're going to have to be computer savvy when it comes to installing this on your device. Now, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me. I'll help you out the best that I could. Now, is it a daily driver? I believe so. I believe it is. The preview was a pretty good daily driver. I used it most of the time. I had no real issues with it. It ran pretty, pretty darn good. This one runs even better. And I'll get into that more in the video. Now, the final question, is the camera better? Now, the camera... They did not send an update to do any kind of enhancements on the app or on the on the on the beta itself. Uh, the camera has the preview from it has the uh, you know the install from from before, but it doesn't have any kind of update on the camera. So the camera is the same that you have on Oreo that you have on Android P. Now the one thing I did notice about the camera did get a minor update the other day, and that was on the menu. When you hit menu here, it has that black menu now. It used to be white where it would show shutter sounds and store location and also your grid uh, selection there. So that right there is pretty much uh, the only thing with the camera. Now as far as the Android P, as you know it's rocking the gestures. You swipe up, you get your horizontal cards which is real dope. It's got the gesture just like the iPhone 10 and like the Palm Pre before back in the day when we were rocking what we were rocking. Now, if you want to go through your cards, you kind of swipe up, you get all your cards there. If you swipe up full, you get your you get your you get your app drawer. Now, if you go back up and you swipe up, let's say you want to get rid of one of these cards, all you got to do is simply swipe up, it's gone. Now, if you if you're in your if you're in one of your apps, here i'll show you now if you're in one of your apps let's say you're in twitter and you want to go back all you do all you do is go here it keeps going to google but if you go here let me see let's say you're in twitter right and you want to switch back and forth between the camera and twitter you just hit that little pill bo pill bar right there and you can go back and forth now it has a back button there as you can see now it doesn't have clear all recents like on uh, you know regular Android Oreo but it's pretty good now if you want to go split screen you just tap there you hit split screen you choose another app let's pull up Twitter boom you got Google Play Store and you got you got your Twitter there if you want to go out of it just select you know like a uh, Instagram that does full screen now you got your volume slider here on the side so you could select that, you could do vibrate, silent, and volume. You could also get into your menus from there for all your volume settings there. Now, if you wanna do a screenshot or power off, you hold down the button, you have a selection for power off, restart, and screenshot. So that's pretty good. Right there, you could take a screenshot, you have no issues, boom, done. Now, the notification shade is clean, real nice looking. If you wanna add another thing, you hit that little edit icon there. And you can add what you need to add. Now, as far as one of the things that I noticed is the brightness is a little lower on the Android P Beta 1. Don't, not sure because I used to set the, the brightness there and it was, it was real bright. But now if I set it in the middle, it's kind of low. So I have to crank it up. I've tried to go into settings to display to a depth of brightness and it's off. But for some reason, when I chose it, it kind of kicked it down. So I'm not sure, I think they're still trying to work that out. They said they improved it. So I don't know if improving it means they kicked down the volume level on the 
the brightness of the display but that's one of the things that i'm not crazy about uh, on this android p beta one but other than that it runs really good phone calls are good text messaging taking pictures bluetooth all strong right now so um but the gestures are cool man they work really good i have no issues with it and you're good to go man but yeah that's the android p for the essential phone got a little surprise for you here on the back check it out new skin from slick wraps android stud in the building representing the essential phone but yeah man if you want to download it um you gotta know computers you gotta know fast boot adb adb command if you know how to sideload an ota then you're good to go i will say if you do download this you're gonna have to probably wipe your device unlock your bootloader or if you do the OTA, it'll keep your data. But then if you want to go back to Oreo, you're going to have to do some stuff to do that. It could get a little complicated. So, But I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little feel of what you're going to be seeing in Android P on the Essential phone. But phone is still solid, still rocking. Um, things are running pretty good on this Android P Beta 1. Essential has done a great job by trying to uh, update their devices. And I got to give them credit, you know, for a company that was looking like they were on their way out. They're still doing what they need to do um, to keep their devices flowing. They also added a new audio feature called MQA on the Android P Beta 1 that also comes on the Android Oreo. It's a new audio technology that you get through this app company that they're working with called Tidal. So if you want to check them out. That's pretty cool. It's an app called Tidal app and you could download their music and it has new technology for MQA and you can get that on this Android P beta one or you can also get it on the Android Oreo. But that's it, man. I'm Android Stud. Follow me on Twitter at Android Stud, Facebook, Instagram and Google Plus. You got any questions? Leave them down below. Also, if you want to hit that Google Assistant, just hit that little pill. But if you hold it down, you get the Google Assistant right there. But that's it, man. Leave a comment, subscribe, like this chant, like this video, man, and I'll check you guys later. Peace.